Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 5 and 6 of Noble Lady Naughtiness. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh oh, of course that's not good. Now for y'all, by the time y'all see this, of course episodes one through four will already be out and such. It, it's been a last, the last couple of weeks of recording this and doing some other things. I've been very busy and I have not had time and finally I now have time and I'm like, I gotta get this like done done before I start my next series because the next series I'm doing after this is going to take the hottest minute for probably like since I reacted to the Monogatari series and we know how long Monogatari is. This series that I'm about to do next, it is kind of as long as a Monogatari but not as. It's not 100 episodes so I'd say as of right now it's only really three seasons in. Um, so it's only I think about like almost 50 episodes. Less, maybe? I don't know. I have to go back and look. But, of course, the goal is to try to get this done. I'm going to try to get this done either tonight or tomorrow. Um, so that next week I can kind of get started on the other show. Or I might take a break of... <laughs> doing requests on other days I gotta do other shit and then eventually when this is over start that series that's the one thing I love about reading Well, yeah, I mean, because they're going to a hot spring today, right? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, my God, Alan. That is true, we do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, Charlotte. Hmm? Of course, because she's with you. And then here you go with the deep ass voice. See, you go for one minute sounding like freaking Yusuke or Kion, and then straight. Well, no, more Yusuke, and, and you no, know, but still Rudy as well. But still, you can't do that. That is, I'm weak, sir. Like you cannot. <laughs> I had a night delivery too. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, hey, a free trip, though. Well, yeah. I mean, it's the countryside, and you get to travel. No, my baby. You sure you just don't want to change your hair just in case? I thought this would be kind of like a family outing in a way. Oh, that's them. <laughs> I mean, and I get that. Because they do have, like, no, well... They have good chemistry. They're really, there's kind of sexual tension between the two, but not as much. <laughs> oh, look at the water. Baby, oh. Okay. You are right about that. Mm hmm. Oh. There's my use K. <laughs> Literally making me want to play Persona 5 World again. <laughs> oh, you're pretty! Watch it be just run room. I think that's a good idea. Uh oh. Honeymoon. Excuse me? <laughs> well, 
Well, duh. No, 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 no. I, I would just go with it. This is what we should have gotten in the one spy family episode when Lloyd and Yor was going to go on a date. <laughs> Aww. Uh, ew! You think that they would have, like, okay, so one's for families, one for couples, and then, you know, another one for private couples. Not to say they ain't gonna do anything nasty in the private couple version, but, you know, hey. Ta-da! Okay. Keep your horny Rudy thoughts to yourself then. Aww. She looks so cute. <laughs> Let's go have fun. Right? I don't think they're gonna, you know, try to cuddle. But you never know. Hmm? What'd you get? Oh.
I know. Way, way too wholesome. Go on. Right? You were just, you know, just doing it to do it. Oh, okay. So, wolves, basically. No, it's cute, baby. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> they forgot to clean that up. I mean, well, they're both going to have to sleep in the same bed, duh. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wonder what the, those dreams going to be like. <laughs> no. He's so sweet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, how you feeling? <laughs> you okay? my heart. <laughs> It was really cute. Like, oh my god. Just to, you know, honestly, I cannot wait to get married and be married and going on a honeymoon with my, like, future husband and such and just doing things to make our bond even closer and, you know, other-ish and stuff. But still, getting to, like, see more things together with your significant other and stuff, it is really sweet. And I love the fact that they got to do stuff together. I mean, the hot spring and, you know, hanging out at the water park and stuff and everything else, like, that was adorable. Um, her swimsuit was super cute. Like, the traditional, just, you know, cute little top. Didn't really see the bottoms, but I love the fact that she had, like, a cute little shawl, like, wrapped around her and everything so that, you know, she still has that innocence of her because, yeah, Charlotte's very innocent. We know that and such. But the way these two, it, it's just the once again, the will they, won't they, or when are they and stuff, it's just adorable. And I love the fact is she had a dream about her mom. I honestly think if her mom was alive and if she was able to meet Alan, of course, she would be, like, you know, it, depending on the mom, I'll say that. Um, maybe he would immediately like him, and then possibly, maybe eventually not, but grown to love him. But you can see how much he treats her and keeps her safe and everything. And it's really sweet. And I freaking love that about him because, god dang, you know, because once again, you, you compare it to freaking Rudy from, you know, um, what's his face and ish. And then, you know, I, hell, we can already now put Yusuke and Kion in the same foot as well. How his Seiyu plays completely different characters. And you're just like, bro, how in the world did you go from this to this to this to that? And such. I mean, it, and it's freaking hilarious. So, I mean, especially for the two, for this character and Rudy that he is also continuously playing later, later on in this year when we get the second half. I'm really happy for him and in the situations that he is in with his quote-unquote significant others and such. It's just really sweet. As someone, like I said, you know, hopeless romantic, even though, like, that shit ain't working for me, it's so cute. It's so adorable. But yeah, I wouldn't know about the capybara and the divine boyfriend <laughs> for it. I, I mean, because that took me out for a, a, a little moment. Teeny, tiny bit moment. Be like, um, did I just truly hear that? Y yeah, okay. All right. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode six. Alrighty, episode six in three, two, one. Mm hmm Come on, it's gonna be fine. Ooh. Charlotte, it's not a selfish wish. You wanna do the petting zoo? <laughs> mm. 
Mm-hmm. Let the heart stop. Yeah, one for her, one for you. Look at him, coffee No. Oh, they look like Eevees! Oh my god! They can destroy a whole mountain. <laughs> okay. You all right? No, baby. No, no, she's crying about the fact this because everything is cute. So it's more happy tears, babe. Like literally when you get to like <laughs> the utopia of what the biggest thing that you want to see, like me going to Japan, I will probably cry. <laughs> Once again, with the deep voice. <laughs> you better still buy them food. That's okay, because they just love her so much. They're like the cast of Comey's on.
Yeah. I mean, because even though he had to bribe the fake Eevees, everybody, uh, uh, <clears throat> every other animal was immediately drawn to her. So, that has to be her ability. I, I think so, too. <laughs> Unicorn? Oh! got to find something to do for it quickly. Oh! I think Charlotte has an idea. Okay, but what about Charlotte? And you can't go by yourself. I mean, yeah, you're OP, but come on now. No. I'm going with you. Ugh. She can do this. But she probably can. You just have to let her try. You don't know unless you try. And if she knows in her heart she can do this, you let her do this.
once again, they're just the cutest couple ever. Like, fucking ever. And just, ah, he's so cute. And you two don't even know what the hell is going on right now. We need you to evacuate. Yeah, but how long is a while, though? Uh-oh. Um. Eh. Of course, it's not going to listen. <laughs> the capybara. <laughs> The way he, who, whoever his seiyu is, he's got to be in, like, at least one of the JoJo's. It could have been from just one all the way. Probably not Stone Ocean, but at least maybe Star Stardust. Stardust Crusaders. Yes, there's the word. Like, I know he ain't jolt at all. I know he ain't my man, so. <laughs> and it ain't Dio either. <laughs> Still got the rest of them.
No. And yet she got it like that. Special baby. Special baby. Uh-huh. Special baby. Oh. <laughs> the copy butter. <laughs> what? Just because he's a phantom, he... <laughs> he's too sweet. Mm. Right? You put up a good fight. <laughs> the cat ears. <laughs> right? Yeah, but you know, you helped. You were able to read its mind. I can't with it saying you, oh my god, like. I've been in love with this man since he's playing Kion, and, and it's just, it, it's nothing new, and I just, I can't, I, I can't, I fucking can't, I fucking can't, like, ah. Uh. I want to rewatch Hot Heat. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Oh, my God. You know, you're very coincident. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> no way. 
she is covering Charlotte's eyes. I'm like, no, 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 no. Baby, you shouldn't see this. Literally reminds me of today's episode of Gushing Over Magical Girls with the situation that happened and, and like, the mom, <laughs> the parents are really more in the moms was covering the kids' face. They're like, oh my god, Indeed, we can't have her look at this or him look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> but it's so cute. It's pretty hilarious. But, oh my god. No, Baby is a tamer. Like, seriously, I'm super duper proud of her. Like, she's thriving fucking thriving since episode one being with Alan and such. But the hell Capybara. I <laughs> I don't even know what to say about the Capybara. I mean, it's cute. A little deadly. <laughs> but cute. Very, very sweet. But yeah, I, it, something tells me this is not the last time we're going to see him. Um, once again, whoever he is saved, I probably have heard his voice before. I just don't know. Like, <laughs> there's so many saves in my head that I know of. And like, literally, it definitely by the time I hear their voice, I'm like, oh, wait, that's you. Like, okay, once again, Charlotte, Saudi Jaime, my number one. Like, anything that she's in, once again, as we said in episode one. I will watch and stuff. And so regardless, like, duh. Her voice is an easy voice to tell, like, who is who. Oh, the visitor comes to visit her. That's sweet. I'm not surprised that it came to come and see her because, of course, she has a bond with it. It's like getting a pet and stuff. And so when you're slowly but surely bonding with the animal and everything, the animal looks at you as its mama or its dad. And so it's like, yeah. Like, of course, it's super adorable that it's like, oh my god, I'm coming to see her. And it's sweet. Like, oh, I can't stop it. But yeah, I'm definitely going to find out who plays the hell capybara. Like, I need, that is something I need to know, like, ASAP <laughs> before I record the next two episodes. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes five and six of Noble Lady Naughtiness. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes seven and eight. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.